You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me! Shut I'm her. sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant. It's at the main entrance to the TV station. Judgment Day is here!
out of the trucks and they, they, they just started shooting and looking at the I wouldn't bother. I already ran the plates. You should know by now, when it comes to evidence, we're hoarders. If it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short of body bags. I'm gonna give you 10 milligrams of diazepam to make you hot. Longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir, Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! I, oh, so no hard feelings! Hey! You, you can't go in yet! We need to wait for the reinforcements! Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go, I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. I've got a signet ring. How much do you think I can get for it? Is it gold? It was taken off someone famous. Just look at him. He looks kind of familiar. Guys, guys! We've got company! Anyone expecting a silver freak? Drop it, scum!
Worried about the weight limit? Lois, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. They sabotage the elevators in staircase two. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots are still here. such a big crowd.
I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which! <laughs> You're gonna take that back!
Almost there. Kill the hostages! Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen, requesting urgent medical assistance. Over.
Sure thing, Mom. What do we have? It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your hands? Do I really have to? I wasn't playing in the dirt. Of course you do. No more discussion. Darn. What about Dad? Is he gonna be back for dinner? Alice? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to be a police officer just like his dad. We cannot let him pass! moves cop I'm not dying here get me another one of those choppers like the one that took soot you hear me you work so hard honey why don't you take some leave we all could use a little break from this reality don't you think wakey wakey I'm talking to you shiny stand back from that door or I'll shoot her I swear to nuke I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you you got three seconds Three! Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Trust me, we will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, Alex. You okay there, Murphy? that want get it away from me I am sorry can you see it's unstable ma'am please calm down it's been a very tough evening and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families though for some of us the night has just begun Pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. 
we asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But, she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double! On it, Sarge. There is no way. Murphy! I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Sleep tight. Pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak!
Hi, Murphy. When will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. seems to be the problem. <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? <laughs> Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? <laughs> I wanted you to be safe out there. <laughs> yeah, you guys, very fun. Where's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine? Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. 
Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we...
Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Crazy in that TV station. Good job, Brad Murphy. You bet. Without him, we'd all be gone. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up to the right button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Record. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. Today's agenda. The agenda is that you sit your It's ass no down secret. The crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo. I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. This city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all.
Coming up, is your air freshener secretly killing you? Find out at 11. Keep the noise down. You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear ya. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. The music is too loud. My sound sensor measures 126 decibels. You are damaging your ears as we speak. Oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's brand new! I've only stole... Thanks, officer. Hey, this area is off limits. You need permission to get in or a warrant. Something's coming. I can feel it. How? Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dopehead buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know 
tiny dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy a nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect Nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? Shh, pigs. Mind your own business, cop. If you feel lonely, you know where to find me, officer. Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do. I do want to earn money. But wait. Your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You want to bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. Just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Hey, me found my guarantee! What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. Dad, what does eviction mean? Evening, officer. Dad, who's a debt collector? I heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is
Don't start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed. Listen, guys, I'll never touch your stuff again, I swear! That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice! Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Even if you escape, so does out to get you. You will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept this stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. <laughs> 